Hi right, friends, welcome back to the channel, man. I'm so stoked to see you. So, have had quite a few questions being dropped down recently. Asking a stoker man, let's talk about declination, how to how to convert things. You know, is, do I do it this way? Do I do it that way? What is east? What is west? What is positive? What is negative? General to, to major, major to general. What is all this garbage? Can I just get some solid, stinking, easy to grasp and handled answers? And the answer is absolutely. So that's what we're gonna do. And he, um, we're we're gonna take this to the map because I think I think once we do this and, and we look at the big map, it's all gonna come across a little bit easier. And I can promise you, by the end of this video, you will have a 100 100 100 percent uh understanding of how and when to add or subtract depending on if you're going from uh paper to compass or compass to paper hey man that's what this channel is all about a little, little bit of field craft nuggets if that's what you're into man and you want to stay up to date on some future content then you know what to do you know just subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell i mean come on what, what are you waiting for uh <laughs> <laughs> so look, wh why why do we have before we do take it to the map? What what is declination, right? And then what is and why is it important? So declination, uh, you can imagine, right? Uh, Santa lives up in the northern pole, right? Uh, and so when cartographers make their maps, they know that this point never changes, right? That that where that candy cane lives, and where the the, the toy shed is, is never going to change. But the world is a really dynamic place, right? Because we have this geomagnetism stuff that's going on. And it's under the surface, it's on the surface, it's outside of the earth, right? A lot of factors that are going into this. And so you have a point close to the northern pole, and you have a point close to the southern pole, where the, the two ends of the magnet that the Earth makes as we're turning around in the, on this third rock from the sun, right? So and where uh, the, the, these magnetic points come out of the Earth perpendicular. And that point, though, is not like the, the candy cane. That point moves right all the time. Every day, every year it's moving and for the past you know, about maybe 25 years it has moved significantly. It used to be uh in northern Canada, think of the Hudson Bay area uh as far as you know elevation. And now it's almost tipped all the way back over into into Russia. It's pretty pretty interesting stuff. And so that difference, right, between where that point is and where the, the northern pole is, and, and truth be told, hang out with me here. It's not the northern pole, right? It's grid north that we're truly concerned about. But that difference between uh, the, the magnetic pole and the northern pole, that's, that's what we're talking about here. That's the angular difference. The angular difference between the two is declination. And it's different everywhere that you go. And it just looks like a bunch of spaghetti noodles out there. Uh, and you have agonic lines. And we're, I'll show you about where the agonic line is in the United States. And in the Western Hemisphere, it's a little bit easier to grasp and understand uh, because the lines aren't as crazy as they are in the uh, Eastern Hemisphere. And if you're to the left or to the right, the agonic line. And the agonic line is where declination is zero, right? You could draw a straight line between you, the Northern Pole, and the magnetic northern pole, which is the negative pole. Um, that's a straight line. Now, once you start to get away from from center, in fact, you know what? Let's just take this to the map. Uh, this is so much gooder. I'm, this is going to make so much sense by the time we're done. It's going to be unreal. In fact, I'm going to use, I'm going to make all the sense. I'm going to make all the stinking sense. I'm not going to leave any sense out there in YouTube or, or the, the internet for anybody else to have. So as I was saying, there's called uh, an agonic line, and this agonic line runs up almost dead center in the United States, and there's no angular difference between this line right here that, that cuts north, we can see it, or we can imagine it right here, and where this line points to uh, the magnetic northern pole, it's the exact same. Now if we come over to the west, 
it's going to change, right? Because we we can we can vision this change, right? We can see it here. If we come over to the east coast, it's going to change, right? So no matter where we're at, this angular difference is is different. And you can just think of a triangle. You know, the further away I get, the greater it gets. And then conversely, the or uh, in, along the same lines, if we go north, that line is going to change as well. So how do we add? How do we know and subtract? Super stinking easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw two declination diagrams, one at a time. And a declination diagram is always going to have two lines. One is going to be straight. It's going to be vertical. And this is your grid north. This follows the lines. You know, it's parallel with the lines on your sheet of paper. And from here, we're also going to have another line that's going to cut off an angular difference. And this is your magnetic north, and so that's your needle. By the way, you know, if your needle is off to the left like this, right, we, we can imagine, and that's what it would be over here on the east coast, right? So if it's pointing to the left of grid north, this is called westerly. That's just a little FYI. But what we need to know is if we're going from grid to magnetic, if we're going from magnetic to grid. Now, there are some bad acronyms out there, like uh, general is greater than major, major is less than general, or whatever. Uh, but as you're going to see, that's not, we can't always use that, that acronym. But I'm going to give you an acronym that you can use, and it's LARS. And so what we're talking about is if, again, if we're going from grid to magnetic, that means we're going this way. Or if we're going from magnetic to grid, which means we need to pull this way, right? Does that make sense? So if we're going to go from grid here to magnetic, right, we're going to the left. We're, we're, we're forcing this to go to the left to make it make sense. Then we need to add. And if we're going to go from uh, magnetic to grid, we're, we're pulling this to the right, right? Then we're going to subtract. Left, add, right, subtract. Makes total sense. You don't ever need to know it. Like on a military map, it's always going to tell you uh, to convert from grid to magnetic, you add the declination. To convert from magnetic to grid, uh, subtract the GM angle. And that GM angle is what is this difference here, right? So let's look at the East Coast and see if this rule of Lars will still apply. I'm going to leave this here, and then we're going to put these together here. So again, this is going to be uh, easterly, because we can imagine we have our vertical line, and that's always going to be for grid north, and then we're going to have an angular line that's going to come off and be pointing towards wherever direction the magnetic northern pole is, okay? Does that, does that, is that starting to make sense? You can kind of kind of see that, right? The, the pole's this way. That's where your compass is going to point to. So from grid to magnetic, and then from magnetic to grid. So in this case, you know, to go from grid to magnetic, I have to go to the right. I have to go to the right from grid to magnetic. So I'm going to the right, but I have to subtract. And to go from magnetic to grid, I'm going to the left, right? You can see that, then I have to add. So left, add, right, subtract. And you can see it works the exact same way on both sides of the United States. So if your declination diagram doesn't tell you what to do, all you have to do is remember LARS, left, add, right, subtract. All right, so let's do a couple of uh, practical application uh and then hopefully that'll help just close the loop and make this make sense. So I'm going to push this up here. We're going to get rid of this. We don't want to look at this right now because we're going to talk about uh, East Coast diagrams, East Coast diagrams, right? So you can imagine, let's say uh, we're working on a map and our DAC, our DAC, our declination uh, was, let's just say, uh, eight degrees, for wherever our area is, you know, so, so maybe it's somewhere right in here, right? And I, I'm looking on a map, and I use my protractor, and I determine that uh, an azimuth that I want to shoot with my compass is 108 degrees. 
Now I can look at my declination diagram and I can see that magnetic north is to the left. And if I want to go from grid to magnetic, I want to go to the left, right? If I want to go to the left, I need to add. So I'm going to take 108 plus 8, and that gives me 116 degrees magnetic. Does that make sense? Now, conversely, let's say I was working out in the field, and I shot an azimuth of 250 degrees. All right, 250 degrees with my compass, and so that's magnetic. And I want to plot this on a map. So I'm going from magnetic, and I need to bring this line to the right to make it make sense on a map, to make it make sense with my grid north. And so if I'm going to the right, I need to subtract. Boom. Sense made, right? Man, does that make sense, friends? <laughs> I'm assuming that it does, but, but I hope that it does. Leave some comments down below and let me know if this is making sense. Now let's go over to the West Coast, right? So we are going to get rid of this one, and then we're going to look at this guy right here, right? Because that, that right, does that make sense? So let's say I'm working uh, out in the field, and I shoot an azimuth with my compass of 340. 40 degrees, and I look on my map, and my declination is, in fact, 15 degrees. So I shot this with a compass, so that's magnetic north, and I want to bring that and put it on my map, so I need to bring that to the left. I need to push this over to the left, so I need to add 15 degrees. Boom. Now I can draw it on a map with my protractor. But let's say I was uh, looking at uh, 5 degrees. Now we'll, let's get a little crazy here. So 5 degrees uh, was what I did with my uh, compass or my protractor. Right? This was a grid north or a grid azimuth, right? And I want to use my compass now to shoot an azimuth. What do I have to do? So it doesn't matter, you know, what the what the degree is, but if this was my grid azimuth and I want to push it over to the right, to the right, I need to subtract 15 degrees. Now, holy smokes, how do we do this? Well, man, it's too stinking easy. You're still going to get 10 degrees, uh, but it's not 10 degrees, right? Because that would be crazy talk. So we have to go back to the left of the dial of 360, so it's going to be 350 degrees. Boom. Magnetic. Make sense? Sorry about that, gents. But <laughs> I, I said I was making all the sense in the world, and I guess I literally took all the sense out of my own head, and uh, I don't make sense anymore. But I hope, I hope, I hope that does make sense uh, to everybody. Again, leave some comments and, and let me know uh, what you think about Lars and left adding and right subtracting to the right and to the left. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. All right. All right, team, man, I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you, again, if you think somebody else may need to hear this info or you want to bring somebody else uh, by the collar and uh, bring them into the conversation, then share it out with your, with your friends and your battle buddies and let, let's do this. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Leave some comments down below. Let me know that it was value added or what we could have done better in this thing and we can uh, continue to, to master my own craft, right? If that's what you want to do, you want to master your field craft and develop your tactical virtue, man, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do that now. You know you want to. Yeah. You. Waiting on you. Hello. Hello. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, I appreciate you guys. Every single one of you. Hope you all have a great day. Until then, you stay stoked.